Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is all about what winning means. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969. What Does It Mean to Win? by Meg Booker, read by Leah Martin. My victory and honor come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. Oh, my people, trust in Him at all times. Pour out your heart to Him, for God is our refuge. Psalm 62, 7-8 The pit in my stomach threatened to travel up my throat as I sauntered up to the circle of runners I would now call teammates. Stories of trophies and championships bantered back and forth as we stretched, and I immediately felt unqualified. What was your best time, I asked, a question distance runners love to talk about. And as the answers filtered in, my confidence level rose. I may not have accumulated as many medals and state championship stories, but I had clocked one of my fastest times trying. I learned the difference between divisions that day and that the mark of a medal doesn't always represent an actual winner. David wrote, My victory and honor come from God alone. Later in the psalm he wrote, Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind and the powerful are not what they appear to be. Psalm 62, 9 Medals, trophies, and stories of races won are impressive and intimidating at the same time. It's important to discern the definition of winning in our own lives. So what does it mean to win? Let's look at the message within three passages of Scripture. 1. God is our refuge. Hebrews 6.18 tells us, So God has given both His promise and His oath. These two things are unchangeable, because it's impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to Him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. As Christians, we know that Jesus said, It is finished, as He gave up His life on the cross. When we give our lives over to Christ, we've already won the most important victory of all. A refuge is a shelter of protection from danger. This is what we've won by surrendering our lives to our Savior shelter and protection from danger. The commander of heaven's armies hears and answers our prayers. Two, God is a rock where no enemy can reach us. We can trust him at all times. Exodus 3.14 says, God replied to Moses, I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. God is unchanging. When our lives are unraveling, we run to the stability of the rock who is our God. He is solid, steadfast, and faithful. Rocks don't wither under the heat of the sun or succumb to the pressure of the earth. We stand on solid ground, unable to be withered or pressured past our breaking point when we obediently give our circumstances over to Him. 3. We can pour out our hearts to God. He is our refuge. We learn in Daniel 2, 22, He reveals deep and mysterious things and knows what lies hidden in the darkness, though He is surrounded by light. Most of us can internally number the people we feel comfortable unraveling in the midst of, people we feel able to cry in front of or vent to, 
and trust with our most concerning struggles. God is always our refuge. He's the safest, most reliable source to pour our hearts out to. He knows us better than anyone else. He created us with specific care and purpose. His heart aches alongside ours. Intersecting Faith and Life Winning in this life is rooted in the hope we have through Christ Jesus and the victory He's already won. There's no pressure on us to perform or achieve or goal set ourselves into an exhaustive state. Winning is doing the best we can with what He's given us, without worrying about what He's given everyone else to do. In this world, we will have trouble, but Christ has already won. And we win too when we realize our refuge is in Him alone. By our own merit and striving, we'll never measure up. By His standards, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. When we see ourselves from His perspective, we win. When we run to Him as our rock and not the world, we win. When we realize He is right there waiting for us to pour our hearts out to Him instead of venting on social media or gossiping endlessly until we run out of people to talk to, we win. He is our victory. For further reading, study Psalm 62. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969.